So here's your toilet fix. So basically on these, if you look in the water, you get the reflection just right. You can see that that water is sort of wriggling. It's, uh, you can see it's, it's not still water, it's, it's moving. So that means, you can see that, that that valve is still letting water in. And so, this one here is also dripping from these bolts here. It's water coming off there. And so that means that these bolts inside here are leaking. I actually tried to seal that one up there with some plumber's uh, plumber's goop, but it didn't quite work. So, and then these bolts here, I cannot get off with a regular screwdriver. So, a good old grinder comes in handy at this point. Typically, these nuts down here have to be ground off too because they've been on for so long. Okay, so we got after a couple minutes a hard grind. You can see that red goop. I tried to patch the leak and it kept on leaking from somewhere. So I'm going to take it off, put a new seal between the tank and the bowl. And this thing here was sort of a hard cut off. I was hoping to maybe save the, uh, the bowl and take the nut off, but it was just, it was on there real tight, pretty much. Yeah, it's just like one piece. So I don't know if we can get this one off or not. We might have to grind that one off. That one's also dripping. You can see there's a drip right there. It's dripping. And so, because that screw is loose in there, I can turn that screw with a screwdriver with that nut on it. Now I figure that seal right there is bad, you know. So I'm going to goop it up again after I pull the tank off and see what happens. And that one is a hard cut off too. So basically I had to cut that whole nut off from there. Luckily the grinder fit in there. So theoretically now should come off and I'll be able to be able to put some new washers on those these nuts here or these screws and seal them up real good and uh, start all over okay so we got this could have been leaking through the seal here. It looks kind of possible. You can see this is the old seal. See that red stuff I tried to stop the leak with? But that seal looks pretty, pretty wasted. So we got a seal kit here. Universal. Is there such a thing? Anyway, take this thing off. That thing looks pretty, pretty far gone, I'd say. That one's got a new one in it. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna have to take this off. Put that whole drain valve in. Okay, so just for extra measure, I sort of regooped everything here. Uh, have the high temperature silicone 
these are the mounting bolts probably gonna lube this up here just so it doesn't freeze up again after it's all on there I may even put another coat of silicone over this uh, once they're sort of mounted in there Okay, all back together. Get the new bolts on. Coop those up real good. Everything seems to be tight. Got the new drain valve in. Cross your fingers. Yes. We're looking good. So. Everything looks good. All adjusted. And we look here. Look in the angle, we don't see any ripples in the water. So that means we don't have any flow happening. The valves not leaking or anything. Bolts not leaking underneath. Looks good. So I have a course, it's called How to Make Money in the Handyman Business. If you're interested, I'm taking two new students per year and I do one year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos and if you're interested in uh, how to make money in the handyman business you can contact me at Bills Enterprises PO Box 7021 Eureka California 95502 and you can also give me a call if you need some help 707-445-1591 Pacific Time 927 Thanks. And if this video helped you, please send me a donation. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day.